Once upon a time, a long time ago, in a faraway country, there lived a troll. He lived at the base of a tall snowy mountain where it was quite cold, so he had a warm coat and wrapped fabric around his wrists to keep him warm. He lived by the side of a river and underneath a big shady tree. He had no friends. It was partly because he was a bit scary looking and because he didn't wash his hands and his clothes as they were so hard to take off. He often was a little bit smelly as well. The result was that he was always alone. And as a result of that, he was a bit lonely. He was also a bit grumpy. And he always looked as though he was just putting up his fists ready for a fight. Well, one day he went for a walk. And he found a great big pile of stones. And he thought to himself, I could build a bridge. I've got these great big strong hands and there's nothing better than a pile of bricks and rocks and stones to make a bridge. And so he got working and he made a very fine bridge across the river. And here it is. The troll looked at the bridge and he looked at the land on the other side and he thought, that soil over there is so much better. I'm going to live over there. And so he crossed the bridge. And over he went to the other side where he worked for many years planting cabbages and carrots and fruit trees and flower gardens and all manner of things so that birds were singing and butterflies were flying and it was a beautiful place. But he was still lonely, of course and he knew even less how to be a friend should he meet someone, as we shall see. At night time, he slept under the bridge. He had a plank. He looks like he's in the water, but he's not. He's sleeping on a wooden plank just beside the bridge. He loved his bridge. He built it with his own strong hands. And there he lay asleep, when something happened that was different from normal. One day, Three goats came tr trotting past and they saw the bridge and they stopped. Wow, said the goat, the biggest goat, for it was the billy goat's gruff. Wow, said the biggest billy goat gruff, that's some bridge that wasn't there when we came past a few years ago. Oh, I've heard about this bridge said the middle billy goat gruff. This is the bridge that was built by a very mean, very scary troll. <gasps> I heard about that one, said the big billy goat gruff. He's the troll that eats goats. He eats goats, said the little one. That's horrible. Gosh, wow, well, I'm not going over there then. I expect he's over there. Yes, he probably is. And I think we should steer clear. But hey, said the little billy goat gruff, just look, look, look at those lettuces and those carrots and those apple trees, said the next one. Oh, how delicious. I wish we could go over. Well, I'm not going over. I'm a bit scared. I don't want to go over there. But the little billy goat gruff was not the same. The little billy goat gruff looked every day at those fruits and veggies and thought, because they love carrots. Oh, goats love carrots and lettuce and cabbage and apples. All of those things. Well, I'm going to give it a go. I, I think I'm going to go. I, I really am hungry. And off went the little billy goat gruff. Trip, trap, trip, trap. And woke up the troll. Who said, hey, what are you doing on my bridge? Trip, trip, trapping. Oh, oh my goodness, you are scary looking. They said you would be. Who said I would be? Oh, my brothers. Well, what did they say? They said you're, oh. That reminds me, I have a question. What? What question? Do you eat goats? Oh, don't be silly. What do I eat goats? Look what in my garden. I've got carrots and cabbages and apples and lettuces. 
No, I don't eat goats. What a silly question. What do you want, anyway? I, um, I want to eat your carrots and your lettuces and your cabbage. Well, I don't like people. I want you to go away. And I don't like goats either. I don't eat them, but I don't like them. Hey, come on. Wait, why don't we be friends? Friends, said the troll. What's a friend? Oh, what's a friend? Friend is someone you play with and have a good time with. I can play with you. Play, said the troll. Yeah, let's be friends. Come on, be friends. Hey, what about it? Okay, said the troll. I'll give it a go. Come on down then. And so the troll and the little goat went into the garden. And they did become friends. Not long after that, one night when the troll was sleeping, it might have been afternoon, it might have been an afternoon nap, when the middle billy goat gruff decided that he too would go across the bridge. Because he could see his brother munching away and getting fatter day by day. And so off he went, over the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. Who is that jumping and munching and crunching on my bridge, said the troll. I'm not crunching and munching. I want to crunch and munch, but right now I'm just tripsing and tripsing. Well, I don't like you, and I want you to go away, said the troll. I don't like goats, and I don't like people, and I don't want any more friends. I've got one. Oh, I would be a different... I could be your friend, but I would be a different sort of friend. What? What sort of friend would you be? I'd be more like a mummy friend. What's a mummy friend, said the troll. Well, a mummy friend is somebody who's kind and warm and gives you cuddles if you're unhappy. Are you unhappy? Well, I wish I had a friend. Well, you do have a friend. Now you can have two friends. Why did you say yes? Oh, okay. You're very persuasive. Come on, then. And down they went. And now he had a brother friend and a mummy friend. And life felt quite good. But he was still a bit of a grumpy old thing. And he went back to sleep under his bridge the next day. Well, the next day, the big belly goat gruff thought, <laughs> I'm not frightened of trolls. He doesn't even eat goats. I'll just pick a fight with him and toss him off the bridge. And off he went. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. Who's that trip trapping on my bridge? said the troll. My oh my, you are scary looking, said the big billy goat gruff. They said you were. Well, I, I'm not as scary as I was, said the troll. But I want to, look at me, I'm, I'm strong. You want to fight? I want to fight. Shall we have a fight? I know, I know what, said the billy goat gruff. First of all, I need a question, a question. Do you eat goats? No, I don't eat goats. Look, I'll ask your brother, ask that too. I've got carrots and lettuces and cabbages and trees and all sorts of yummy things. Well, I don't eat goats, but I don't like goats. We could, we could, um, I, I could be your friend. I've got two friends. I've got a brother friend and a mummy friend. What sort of friend are you? What do you have to offer? I could be a daddy friend. Oh, what do daddy friends do? Well, how they say things like, Hey, this is a great bridge you built there, son. You must have worked very hard. Well, I did work very hard, said the troll. Thank you. And what else do they say? They say things like, Hey, son, why don't we climb on that bridge and jump off together and go wee into the water? Oh, said the troll. Okay. And he jumped up on the bridge. Pop. And together they went. A one, a two, a three. Wee! Into the water. And they sailed away. Oh, swimming fast. Here he goes. And they sailed and swam and whooshed and swashed and whooshed and washed all the way down the river. And the troll got on the goat's back and they had such fun in the water. And then they got out at the beach and went to join the other goats. And that's how the troll became a friend with the three goats. And you know, they said to him, Oh, you thought you were scary at first, but you know, you look a bit like a nice teddy bear. And they also persuaded the troll to sometimes take his clothes off and have a jolly good swim so that he wasn't quite so smelly.